Hello my friends and welcome back to another Thai collab. I hope you saw August. He was before me at August Acrylic Art. He is amazing, awesome artist. You should go check out his video. And after me is Kathy at Grandma Kathy's Art Venture. So please stick around. I will have both their links for their videos in the description below as well as all the materials I've used today. I am painting on a 14 by 11 inch canvas and I'm using all of the colors I used last week and it's all gonna be cell activated. I mixed all of my paints as cell activators, so one part paint, two, three parts Australian Floetrol, depending on how thin or thick the paint medium is. If it's thin, like the f golden fluid, I put in less Australian Floetrol. And if it's really thick and a heavy body, like this Liquitex heavy body acrylic, I would add more. You just have to know your consistencies beforehand, then you'll know exactly how thin or thick you need the cell activator. I'm also using Glidden Essentials white base paint. I have it in a bottle here for easy pouring. I am going to put down my base paint on my canvas. Once I'm done that, I'll come back and I will start layering my paints. Please stay tuned and thank you everyone for joining. I will put on some music for you. Sit back, relax, have your coffee or tea, and I will see you at the end. I started off using um, the cell activator on my actual swipe palette that I'm using here, but I found that the cell activator disappeared, so then I tried using it, just pouring it on the base and then swiping with more cell activator. And it was a little bit better, but it still disappeared. I waited until it dried because I thought I'd warm up to it. In the end, it didn't warm up and so I painted over it. <laughs> As you can see right here, after I finished spinning, a lot of the color disappeared. I tried swiping more, but it still disappeared again. And I thought, oh, well, maybe I can work with this and paint on it or something. But in the end, I decided just to paint over it.
Now that that part is dry, I'm putting on a piece of tape to protect it as I'm going to put down some base paint and swipe in the other direction. After I've swiped it, I'm now picking it up and making the paint flow further down so that it gives me a more windswept look. So it looks like the, you can see the movement of the paint which is representing the wind. Now that I have the desired look I wanted, I felt like something was still missing and I decided to add some of the resin leaves I made previously to give that still wind blown look of leaves blowing in the wind. been paying rent here in my head tried to fight it hard tried to hold my breath i keep holding back trying not to crash right into you but you look at me like here are the dried results i wasn't sure what i wanted to do with this because the first part of the video didn't quite work out the way i wanted it and I really wanted you to see the different things you could do with the cell activator, but I still wanted that, you know, cell forming that you can get with it. And the colors disappeared in the first part. So this is what I did in the second part. I swiped downwards to sort of convey like they were fields of some sort. Now in this area right here is sort of like the horizon. Sorry for my finger but I wanted to point that out. And then along here I wanted to show um, wind blowing and that's when I put in the little resin leaves I had made. And I'm just wondering should I what do you guys think? Should I put like paint a tree here showing leaves f like flying or falling f being blown in the wind is what I want to say. Let me know what your thoughts are on this and should I put some sort of like horizon, paint a horizon along that straight edge line maybe? That's what I was thinking. Anyways, thank you all for being here. I greatly appreciate it and appreciate all of you. Don't forget, August at August Acrylic Art was before me and Kathy at Grandma Kathy's Art Venture is after me. So please stay tuned. I will have the links of their videos in my description below. Please go be creative and I'll see you in the next one.
Bye.